Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. I wanted to show you how to use your TI-84 Plus to solve quadratic equations. And in the process, you can also find out what the factored form of that expression is that you had, for instance, x squared minus 5x minus 14. Um, but this is not very intuitive and not a very um, polished way to solve equations. If you can solve it without the calculator, I would strongly suggest it. What you're going to do to solve this is hit math and then hit the um, up arrow to get to solver. You could also scroll down all the way to it, hit enter. And if you already have a uh, something in there, go up and hit clear and then enter your expression. You're going to use this button for the x, x squared minus 5x minus 14 and then hit enter. Remember when you enter that, this is not the solution. When it is a solution, you'll see a little black box beside the x. What they want you to do in these cases is to make a guess for an answer. So I know that when I factor something that has a minus at the end that I get one plus and one minus. That's what I know about factoring. So I know one of these answers is going to be positive and one's going to be negative. So I'm going to start off with a negative guess of like let's say negative three and I'm going to hit alpha solve. And that gives me the answer of negative two and you can see that I now have that little black box next to it. And now I want to guess some positive answer. So I'm going to guess 10. And then I'm going to hit alpha enter. And I'm going to get the answer of 7. So the answer was 7 here. Now what does that look like in the factored form? To get it back to this factored form, you would move that 2 back to the other side, which changes the sign of it. So that would be x plus 2. And change the sign of this one would become x minus 7. This is the factored form, and these are the solutions right here. All right, so you get the solutions, but you can work backwards to get that answer. And the second one I'm going to do, um, I'm going to clear that and do 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. Now again, for this one, I can I know that I'm going to have a positive and a negative answer because this minus says I'm going to have a plus and a minus in here. Since I know I have one of each, I'm going to start with my negative 10 choice and hit uh, whoops and hit alpha enter alpha solve sorry, and that's going to give me my answer of negative three. And remember, if I move that to the other side, it would change sign, so that would give me x plus three as one of my factors. And then I can find the other one by, if this one turned out to be negative, I need the positive one. So I'm going to do 10 and alpha solve. And that gives me 0.49999999, which is going to be 0.5. Sometimes it, your guess just can make it be a little bit sort of off. But if I guessed 0 here, it gives me the 0.5, so it's closer. I'm not really sure what the glitch about that is, but I have um, x equals 0.5. And I'm going to think of that as x equals 1 half. Then multiply both sides of the equation by 2. That gives me 2x equals 1. And then if I move that 1 over, that becomes minus, which gives me the other factor that I would need if I was just looking for factoring. Okay, moving on to the third one. By now, you can see that this method requires you to already have some algebra knowledge to really use the calculator effectively, but it is something you can use. So we're going to put this one in 20x squared minus 47x plus 24. I'm entering that. Of course, that's not my answer yet. It doesn't have the little box next to it. Um, what are my answers going to be here? Well, do you see how I have a positive here? That means I either had two positives or two negatives. Because I have a minus here, that means in my boxes up here, I must have two negatives. And so when I solve that, it's going to be the opposite or two positive answers here. So my answers are both going to be positive. So I need to know that when I make my guess. So I'm going to guess zero to start alpha solve. And I got 0.75, which is a there's a bunch of zeros trailing that, but what does 0.75 look like as a fraction? It looks like 3 fourths. If I multiply both sides by 4, I get 4x equals 3. And if I move that 3 to the other side, I get 4x minus 3. So that's my first factor. And then I'm going to try to find the second one. So my guess before was 0, so I'm going to guess something else like 
five and um, second function solve and I get 1.6 well 1.599999 which is about six so my guess wasn't super close to the actual guess so I could guess like let's say three let's see if that brings me to the um, that's not what I want to do I want to guess three alpha enter and yeah now I get 1.6 so you can see the defectiveness of this program in my opinion uh, what does 1.6 look like as a fraction now maybe you don't know let's say uh, that you want to learn how to do that I have another video on that but if you weren't sure you had 1.6 you could do math you want to change this into a fraction hit enter and you can see your fraction is 8 fifths I couldn't see it from there it looked like it said something else okay so I have 8 fifths as my fraction multiply both sides by 5 I get 5x equals 8 and then I move that 8 over and I get 5x minus 8 if I was wanting to find my factored form if I was just looking for the solutions that's what the computer gives me or the calculator which is a computer and then um, I get I can go backwards and get that factored form all right I hope this has been helpful have a fantastic day I'll see you next time